Hello everyone and welcome to what I'm prepping today. I wanted to just show you this uh, Back to the Roots Organic Lavender Grow Kit. Everything's included, just add water. So they want you to grow a really tall lavender plant in a half gallon mason jar there. But this kit comes with the mason jar. This is what it looks like. I don't think that I would use this for canning because it doesn't specifically say that it's able to be used for canning. But I would not have a problem uh, storing um, beans or coffee or anything else in there. I do like to store some things in glass. I do kind of prefer my bale jars, um, the ones with the silicone liners and the snap on the top, but these are fine too. And I have actually seen people seal the mason jars with the jar sealers uh, from the food savers, uh, and they poke a hole in the top of their um, lid and put tape over it, and these come with a hole. I guess that's for the germination. So I de definitely grabbed my uh, lid to make sure that it fit on there, and it did. So this is indeed a wide mouth sized jar, although I, I don't think I'd call it a canning jar, right? Um, so the reason I wanted to show you this and why it's so important and why I bought it, I did not buy this to grow lavender in a jar in my windowsill. I, I just wouldn't do that. Uh, <laughs> it's just not me. But I bought this because I didn't pay $24.98 for it. These were marked down from $24.98 to $10.00 and they sat there at my local store and they sat outside with the rest of the reduced plants it was oh excuse me it was at a lowe's um so they sat out there and then they got wet and so the boxes are falling apart and you know what's going to happen is somebody's going to pick them up and they're going to break um so <laughs> Uh, somebody was walking by, um, an employee, while I was looking for my um, other clearance plans. I, I kind of have a, not a schedule, but it's on my to-do list, is it Lowe's. If you have to go to Lowe's, I check uh, the clearance plans, just like at Walmart. I always check the clearance aisle. And Lowe's inside, at uh, the Lowe's where I live, they actually do have a clearance section back by the washing machines. I don't often check that too much anymore just because they don't reduce things a lot and I don't need a lot of that stuff. So, but I do need a lot of this stuff. <laughs> so my, what I'm doing here today, oh, I didn't show you either. So they were reduced to $10. So the lady was walking by and you can see I have 19 of these. And I said, are they going to do any further reduction on these? And she said, I can reduce those to a dollar for you. And I said, oh okay she said how many do you want i said all of them <laughs> so she went through and marked all of them one dollar so what i'm doing now is i'm opening them and i'm just pouring them into my empty peat moss bag and uh, then i'll just use this as a regular mix i'm pulling out of course the lavender seeds and i'll probably try to grow them or you know maybe we can do a giveaway uh, but since they are, are wet, the fertilizer spikes in there are still okay, but um, you know what I mean? They're like messed up. That has mold on it, but that would actually be okay for an outside plant. That's not a big deal. And this one is so wet, it disintegrated. But this was my find today. So I have to take all these, empty them, put them in the jar, put them in the bag, and then take out the seeds and the fertilizer spike, use that. The boxes, I will probably just throw in the wood burner and burn. Um, actually, if I take this little sticker off, they can actually go in the hoogle bed, um, you know, and under the mulch like I do with the cardboard and feed it to the worms. And then I have to wash all the lids and the jars, and then they will just go into my pantry, and then the rest will go into my storage, and marked as not for canning, because like I said, I think these are just for food storage, not for canning, and uh, that's it, that's what I did today, check your lows, let me know what kind of stuff you're getting on clearance, and um, thanks for watching, be blessed everyone.